Hello everybody, Kelvin here, and my video today is focusing on a password recovery for a 3750X switch, that is a Cisco switch. And the password recovery is used if you forget the password and you cannot access your device. So this is a physical switch that I'm using today for this demonstration. As I say, it's a 3750X, I'm connected to the management interface using a serial console and uh, my speed for putty is 9600 which is a prerequisite. For those following along to actually get to the recovery section which you're looking at on the screen you need to power on your device and hold the mode button on front of the switch until the LED light turns a solid green. Once it turns to solid green, then you can let go and hopefully you should reach this section. Once you reach this section, we'll, we can then proceed. So to do this, we need to do flash underscore in it. And this should be already initialized for me, which it is. And it'll tell you there, flash is already initialized. Once you've done that, we can list the flash directory. And the file that we want to change is config.txt. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename that file. We'll do rename flash. <coughs> and the file is config.txt. And we'll call it flash config, sorry is what we're calling it, config text, uh, let's call it old, <coughs> config.text.old. So once we've done that, we'll press, we'll type in boot, and this should take a while, not too long. There we go, so now it's loading <coughs> the device image. I'll just pause this video while we do this. So we are just about ready now to continue with the procedure. Now when it asks us to, if we'd like to enter the initial configuration dialog, you enter no or N. And then we need to go to privileged exec. And now we need to rename the flash. So we'll do rename flash config.text.old and we're going to rename it to config.text again and we'll just enter on that so that's renamed that configuration file now and then we can do you can either set a password at this point or you could just do a copy run start and that bit should be done so if you now issue a reload you should find that your configurations that was obviously on the switch are gone if you've um, recovered your device from being locked out so do bear that in mind but you should find that you should now be able to access the switch so I'll proceed with the reload and I'll pause the video while this does this and we'll return just to verify that I can actually get into this device now so again the switch is now reloaded so we can see that we actually have access to this switch now. And there we go. 
So thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. And if you're ever in a situation whereby you need to recover a 3750 switch or similar, then this procedure can help. Do bear in mind that your configurations on the device when doing the recovery will be lost. So please bear that in mind before you actually do the recovery. And if it's not your switch or if it's not a lab switch, etc., then make sure you have the permission to recover that particular switch. Thanks for watching.